Hello, my name is David, and this is the Numismatic Minute. And today, a slightly different video. There will be... Well, I was going to say there will be no coins in today's video. There will be once-was coins in today's video. There's uh, disc-shaped things in today's video. And the point is not necessarily those items. It's not the metal that we're going to be looking at, but how we take care of the metal that we have. This is going to be the beginning of a series of videos where I look at supplies and specifically the question, what's the best supplies to use uh, for your collection? I have run into the issue of uh, buying certain things and not being terribly satisfied with the product that I have. It didn't perform quite the way I expected. And you'll notice that on these coins, these are two by twos, they have uh, staples in them, and the backs of these staples are flat. Uh, that is not because the stapler itself managed to do that, um, but because I went behind and I'd go and I'd take my coin. I don't know that I have a, a penny-sized coin in here. We'll, we'll put this transit token put this transit token in here and we'll fold it up just to, if anybody has a question of what I'm talking about, I think I'm being fairly clear, and go through, we'll staple it. I like to put it on the corners. Hopefully that's not too loud and abrasive to the ears. But on the backs, it leaves these raised corners. And, oh, that's whitewashed. Oh, there we go. Uh, and it leaves these raised corners. And that's a concern for me because as they sit in uh, the different boxes that I have, as they sit in my, my blue box where I store several coins that really don't have a place Otherwise, I mean, what am I going to do? Uh, I want to keep those backs of these uh, from damaging the other coins. How do I minimize that potential? I wind up going behind myself. I take the time to staple the backs of the two by twos. And then I take just a cheap Walmart bought $5 multi-tool and go around and flatten each of the staples. And so you go through and you do four staples for each corner, then you go around and you do two uh, presses minimum. You might do uh, four for each corner to ensure that the staples are nice and flat. And by the time you've done that to 32, I believe that is, Indian cents, it really starts to be a bore. It really starts to slow you down, and, and it can be a labor of love for the hobby, certainly not something that's terribly enjoyable. So what do you do? The website that I went to that I found fairly recently, airtights.com, has this on their website. Uh, and I'm really interested in putting this out today because while I was on Facebook, that somebody was showing a flat clinch stapler that was purchased at Walmart, a $30 flat clinch stapler. $30 is a steep uh, price for me to, to, to invest in a stapler, especially when I've been going with just one of these small ones, something portable, something I can throw in a bag, uh, or what I have, a range bag that's kind of kitted out for uh, for coin use. I have a range bag to take to the firing range with me. I also have a range bag for, uh, for my coin stuff. So, I want something that I can go through, I can staple these flips without having to go behind my work and really spend a lot of time with, you know, one of these, one of these multi-tools. That's where this comes in. This is the Max Stapler HD 10FL flat clinch. We're going to look at that now. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that popped open. And red was the only color that airtights.com happened to offer. Uh, and they have been, what little contact that I've had other than my purchase, uh, my experience has been fantastic. I will speak on my experience with them before all of this is over, before all of the reviews are over, because I had a very, uh, I had a request that was fairly obnoxious and they complied 100%. Uh, I am very satisfied with my purchase with them. I paid full price for all of this, by the way, so not a, not a purchased review. But so far, from what I'm seeing, this is a much more stout stapler than what I thought it was, because I really was expecting something along these lines. But I believe what we see, what we're looking at, is going to be the leverage that's built into this to make it easier to 
for the staple and that was significantly easier in and of itself but there was no stapler in it there's no staple rather in the stapler so what do we do we got to put staples in it. mini staples number 10 dash 5m i don't know why but they had these staples they were fairly inexpensive for 5,000 of them why not i'll go ahead and throw that in the cart as well so we've got some staples let's go ahead and give it a shot is this not the most exciting thing you've seen on youtube for a while what i do want to say real quick is the length of that strip of staples uh fairly substantial compared to using these which i've been putting into uh, my other staplers. So not a whole lot. You're getting far more staples at least per strip without having to stop and reload than before. That looks like it might be about double, but the staples are a little bit different size uh, anyway. So excited about that. We'll pop this open and you just load it by popping the top off just like any other stapler. If you've ever used one, they're, they're all fairly simple and similar. And we'll make our first staple. We'll see how easy it goes. Not that stapling is particularly difficult, but that was fairly easy. And they are fairly flat. Let me see if I can get one. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be fairly difficult, I'm sure, to to manage to get on camera. But that looks like it's fairly flat as far as it's as far as it's fold over on the staple. Let's compare that to one of the normal staples that I've been using and having to fold over. It's quite a bit different. So let's go ahead and put it to the, uh, let's put it to the test. Let's put a coin in there, or like I said, I don't really have coins anymore. What I had planned on doing was I had planned on using these elongated flips that I purchased from Airtights as well and flipping up a few of my tokens. We're gonna go with our first elongated scent and we'll go ahead and look at it. Go ahead and get a closer look at it. Again, this is not about this, but this is something that I picked up at the store. Like I said, most all of this collection comes from the store. I only have a few elongated scents that I have actually made, and those are going to be in the folder that is right back here. And we might look at those before it's over as well. So let's go ahead and see how it goes. This will be our first staples with the flat clinch stapler. That was quite easy. That was, again, it's not difficult to manipulate a stapler, though it might be if you were beginning to lack the dexterity in your hands and you had some of that hand strength that was going away. That was quite easy and that would be, um, that would be really handy to use if you were trying to staple a lot of flips. Uh, so far, I'm really, really happy with this purchase. And like I said, the stapler that was mentioned on that Facebook group was $30. I think you're going to be happy with the price of this when we get to that in just a little bit. So the staples are a bit smaller than the other one, but we noticed that when we compared the staples before. And that's okay. So let's flip it over and let's see how it performed. And of course, I've already blown the example because I forgot that we were going to compare the that we were going to compare how well it flat clinched. This is the stapler that flat clinched it on its own. And that's not too bad. There's a little bit of some, some raising there on the sides, but that is, that's livable for me, honestly. I'm not terribly concerned about that. With them being smaller staples on the reduced surface area, I'm not as concerned about it damaging the other coins. So I feel a little better about that versus it being a full-size staple. And I went ahead and, as I'm sure you heard, stapled another staple, put another staple uh, in this flip so that you could see that. And that is raised up quite a bit from the side. One of the added benefits to these is it's also going to help you fit more flips side by side. Uh, because if they are flat, you can get those two by twos to sit very close to each other. But if it's not, you're going to wind up losing space. And if you're using the box, like I showed before, if you're using one of these, you can lose quite a bit of space simply to those raised elements of the 
of the staples. So, uh, where do we sit with the Max Stapler HD T uh, 10 FL at the moment? I like it. I like it a lot. This was definitely a good purchase. This was a, a huge addition to uh, to just kind of the supplies and taking care of the collection. This is going to be a big benefit to me. Like I said, the strength of having to uh, close it, of having to actually uh, clinch it, I guess, was not a big deal for me. So the, the light effort was not a selling point to me personally, but I don't know that I want to go back. That was really quite easy to use and not having to go back with my with my multi-tool is going to be a huge benefit as well. Now the price. How much did this flat clinch mini stapler cost me and how much did this pack of 5,000 staples cost me? If we don't include tax, if we don't include anything other than the staple and the stapler itself, stapler was $10.95 and the staples were a whopping $4.50. Did a lot better than paying 30 bucks. Staples included, we came out to about half of what that Facebook post had suggested. So this thing, two thumbs up as far as I'm concerned. You're not getting two thumbs up. What do I do? How do you, how do, you do a coin uh, review video? Two, two Indians. Two Indians up. That's not it. That's not it. What do you say? I'm going to put this as a solid... Yes, solid VF35. VF35 on the stapler. Uh, I suppose if we went with the full tilt version uh, of this stapler, which is still under $30, but it's a full-size version of this, uh, maybe we'll get into some AU or mint state. But this is a solid VF35. There's some. There's your coin humor for the day. So if you enjoyed that small review, go ahead and hit like. If you want to see more videos like that, drop them in the comments. If you want me to spend the money so that you don't have to, my wife will love that. Go ahead and drop it down in the comments below and let me know uh, what you want to see. What are your questions? What brands do you have questions about? Uh, Jane, if you are actually watching from airtights.com, thank you. You did a wonderful job. Uh, you, you're getting a uh, Mint State 70 from me. So thank you all again very much for watching. My name is David, and this has been the Numismatic Minute.